therapeutic uses of epinephrine. In what all scenario we can use epinephrine? Because it is acting on different uh, receptors alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2. Remember, it is considered as a drug of choice in a patient with the anaphylactic shock. In a patient with the anaphylactic shock, it is considered the drug of choice. This anaphylactic shock actually is an example of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. It's an example of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, right? So that will be your adrenaline. Question have been asked n number of time on this topic that how much dose and what should be the preferred route for this one? How much dose and what's the preferred route? So remember, guys, you are going to use uh, epinephrine in the dose of 1 is to 1000 in a dose of 1 is to 1000 intramuscular route the dose ho gaya, route ho gaya. this is the preferred route preferred route preferred route it's not uh, IV it's not any other route intramuscular route is the preferred route we all know that uh, type 1 hypersensitivity reaction or anaphylactic shock uh, oftentimes they also ask the question antibiotic induced hypersensitivity again that's the same right? so im root say we will be giving one is to one thousand how much you are going to take we will be taking 0 0.5 ml will be taken and 0 0.5 ml will be injected okay so examiner asks if you are going to take 0 0.5 ml how many milligram of drug has been given so for that in viva also we see a lot of the time examiner asks this question and student get confused that what to mark or what to say examiner asks what is the meaning of 1 is to 1000 simple question what is the meaning of 1 is to 1000 so let's quickly understand the meaning of 1 is to 1000 the meaning of 1 is to 1000 is that there will be 1 gram of drug in 1000 milligram 1 gram of drug in 1000 ml of water or ns yahi matlab 1 is to 1000 ka meaning is 1 gram of drug in 1000 ml ns now, can I also write 1 gram as 1000 milligram? 1 gram as a 1000 milligram? I think it's very simple. So, we can say 1000 milligram in 1000 ml NS or 1000 ml water. Koi bhi ek to NS or water, that's the same thing. NS, normal saline. So, 1 gram in 1000 ml. So, 1 gram ko we can also write it as 1000 milligram. And therefore, if it is 1000 milligram in 1000 ml, we can say it will be the concentration will be 1 milligram per ml. The concentration will be 1 milligram per ml. From this concentration of 1 milligram per ml, we will be taking 0 0.5 ml. So, the question comes in 0 0.5 ml, how many milligram drug will be injected? 0 0.5 milligram. 1 milligram is there in 1 ml. So, in a half ml, half milligram will be there right now the next question that comes okay after this if the patient is non-responsive then what will you do if it is not responding one is one milligram per ml 0 0.5 ml you have given the range that has been given range in the textbook you will be finding the range 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 ml remember this is the range right so in the pediatric population will be giving on the lower side like 0 0.2 0 0.3 uh, so, if they are going to give you a history of pediatric patient, we will be going ahead more towards this one and in the adult because we are not worried about more of toxicity, we are worried more about life saving scenario. So, we will be going ahead with the adult side. Uh, so, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 pediatric, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 or on the higher side will be mainly adult side. Okay. If it is not responsive, NR that is non-responsive, then we are going to repeat the same dose again. and make sure that your uh, nursing staff or the one who is assisting you should be competent enough to find the route because if it is again a non-responsive same dose may again a non-responsive then what we are going to give we will be repeating but now we will be giving via iv route now we will be giving via iv route please remember it can cause arrhythmia and that can be more fatal for the patient. Therefore, we should further dilute it via 1 is to 10,000. In one of the question examiner asks, sir, let's say if the uh, nursing staff or if now if you cannot access IV route, then what will we do? Then I can say you can, according to recent guideline of ACLS, you can even go for the intra osseous in the same dose again, remember, intra osseous. Bone wala to kabhi bhi de sakte. 
यू कैन गिव वाया बोन एज वेल है ना देन वी कैन ऑल्सो गिव वाया द इंट्रा कार्डियक द लास्ट रिजॉर्ट बट इंट्रा ऑसियस इंट्रा वीनस इंट्रा कार्डियक राइट सो ऑलवेज नंबर द ड्रग दैट इट इज गिवन इन वन इज टू वन थाउजेंड इट्स ऑलवेज आई दर आई वी और इंट्रा कार्डियक और इंट्रा ऑसियस ऑल राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस अपार्ट फ्रॉम बींग यूज इन द एनाफाइलेक्टिक शॉक वेयर एल्स वी कैन यूज वेयर एल्स वी कैन यूज सो ए फॉर एनाफाइलेक्टिक शॉक वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस इन अदर कंडीशन लाइक योर ब्रॉन्कियल आसमा सो इन द पीरियाटिक पॉपुलेशन इन एडल्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑल्सो वी यूज दम इन ब्रॉन्कियल आसमा बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ब्रॉन्को डायलेटिंग प्रॉपर्टी इन अ कंडीशन लाइक क्रूप एंड ऑल वी ऑल्सो यूज इट ओके ब्रॉन्कियल आसमा और अदर रेस्पिरेटरी कंडीशन लाइक क्रूप देन वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज इट फॉर कार्डियक रिससिटेशन कार्डियक रिससिटेशन for duration prolongation of local anesthetic duration prolongation of la la is local anesthetic so usually with the lidocaine we can use with the lidocaine for no with the lidocaine we can use the concentration here will be 1 is to 200000 1 is to 2 lakh hai na so with the lidocaine also we can use now why and how it will be working let's say you are going to use a regional surgery है ना लाइडोकेन इज वन ऑफ द लोकल नेसेटिक एजेंट है ना एंड इफ यू वांट टू मेक श्योर दैट द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ अफेक्ट शुड लास्ट फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम दैन एस्थेटिक अफेक्ट लोकल नेसेटिक अफेक्ट शुड लास्ट फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम यू विल बी गिविंग है ना लोकल इन्फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ एपिनेफ्रीन ड्यू टू विच द ड्रग विल बी स्टेइंग इन दैट लोकल साइड फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम ड्यू टू इट्स वैसो कॉन्स्ट्रिक्टिंग कैपेसिटी और प्रॉपर्टी नेक्स्ट दैट वी हैव इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर द एपिस्टैक्सिस सो फॉर द लोकल वैसो कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन for local vaso constriction also we can use but for the local vaso constriction the range that we are going to use is 1 is to 80000 to 1 lakh so 1 is to 80000 to 1 is to 100000 just, just to make it very very easy for you i am just writing this uh, numbers uh, so with the lidocaine 1 is to 200000 uh, in the emergency condition 1 is to 1000 but this 1 is to 1000 it will be intramuscular route please don't make any mistake in this and there is no scope of mistake and you can definitely definitely expect one question on this topic believe me it is such important topic all right so this is about the therapeutic use of epinephrine you can remember all the use of epinephrine by a simple mnemonic of anaphylactic shock a b for bronchial asthma c for cardiac resuscitation d for duration prolongation of local anesthetic and e for epistaxis right e for epistaxis all right that will be different use of epinephrine now we can go ahead with the other drugs before that this is just a quick summary of the different uh, concentration that i told you that uh, one is to 1000 i think we have already discussed this im plus if you want to use subcutaneous again you can use it but subcutaneous uh, is one of the route which you have discussed in general pharma it's a slow absorption and right? so we will not be preferring subcutaneously prefer nahi karte preferred is always im One is to one hundred thousand. It is going to be IV intracardiac intraosseous. We have discussed this hundred thousand like local anesthetic for epistaxis, and one is to two hundred thousand with local anesthetic like lidocaine. We can use. <music>